In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to blur out portions on a video using Canva for free. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. This process is going to be very simple, but I do suggest that you guys stay until the end so you don't miss any of the details. Okay, so here I am in canva.com. This is the home page and we're going to create a new video document. I'm going to the videos section and you will select any of these formats depending on the video that you want to edit. My video has a vertical mode, so I'm going to go for mobile video and I'm going to create blank. Once in the Canva editor, we're going to go to uploads and if you don't have your video uploaded yet to Canva you are going to select upload files. I already have my video ready here so I'm just going to bring it to my empty Canva and then we are going to start editing the blur section. As you can see on this video I have a little section in which you can see some of my personal information. This is a fake credit card, but just as an example, imagine that you created the video and you don't want anyone to see your personal data, your personal information. So I'm going to blur out the section in which you see this credit card appearing. So what I'm going to do is to find a blur element inside the elements library in Canva. So let's go to elements and type blur. From here we have these elements and as you can see most of them are completely free to use. The ones with the crown, these are available for Canva Pro users. I'm gonna use this one which is completely free to use. I'm gonna bring it to my document and then I'm going to click on the three dots and then select show timing. This is a new feature in Canva so I'm pretty excited to use it today. Now we have access to this timeline and we can edit the time of the blur element. So let me see, I need to find the section where I see the card appearing on the screen. So somewhere here I'm going to crop this element timing here and then I'm going to find the section where the card disappears. So here I think the element can go away. So my element is showing in here, so I need to adjust the position of the element. Something like this. Let me see again how the card is looking. We need to make sure that we don't see any section of the card. Okay, I'm just going to play again to double check that my blur effect is ready. So let me see, we in fact don't see any information or we don't see the card at all. So once you are ready, you can hit share, download, leave it as mp4 video and then download. If this white element don't look good on your video, you can go to the element section, select these three dots on the element that I just showed you, and then you can select see more like this. From here, you can see that there are more colors available with the same blur effect. So hopefully one of these will fit the colors on your video. If not, I'm going to show you a different option. Instead of blur, you are going to type sticker square shape noise. Hit enter and in here you will find this animation which is completely free to use. You are going to bring it to the design and you're going to do exactly the same steps that I just showed you. You're going to click on the three dots, show timing and then you're going to find the place on the video where the information that you want to blur appears and then you're going to edit the timing of this element. Because I already did this process with an element that is present on this design, I'm going to select all the elements in the design and then I'm going to click on this little arrow. This is going to allow me to see the timing of the other elements. So this one that we have in here is the white blurred element. So I'm going to 
adjust the timing of my animated element and then I'm going to delete the white blur. Now I only have these animated stickers so I need to double check that it has the right size. I think it's a little bit too big still so I'm going to keep adjusting. Let me see how it looks. And then if you want, you can also double click and crop the element. Done. Okay, let me check again. And I think I actually can crop the elements on the lateral. So you just need to play around. I'm just adjusting here because I like to be very perfectionist. So I'm just double checking one more time. I think I saw a little frame of the card in here, so I'm adjusting and then I can make the element disappear. And as you already know, you can go to share, download, leave it as MP4 video and download. And these are the final results. Let me know which one you prefer, the one with the white blur or the one with the animation. I'll see you in the comments. If you want to continue learning about Canva with us, I'm going to leave our 10 Canva courses in here. And then I'm also going to recommend this video right here in which Ronnie shows us the latest seven new features in Canva. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to leave us a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. And I guess I see you in the next tutorial. Bye!